On screen, you can stay with your decision. So the decision is not out, but uh, what the Sri Lankans will be pleased is they have got through a dot ball. Now it's five balls to go and 12 runs to game. What about that now? He's gone upstairs again. How close could that be? They were running for a bye. But he's gone. He is run out. So Bangladesh loses another one. And I'm just concerned here about the heart of the ball. There's Here, a lot of drama happening here. Well, what's happening here? What are they trying to do, Shakib Al Hassan? They don't seem to be happy, and he's calling the he's calling the batsman back. Now that is a very serious thing that he's trying to do here. Oh, there's a lot of tension on the ground. And they just all need to settle down a little bit. It looks as though he wants to call him off. Shakib Al Hussein has called his teammates off. Well, this is uh, not uh, what uh, someone would have looked forward to. A couple of uh, short pitch deliveries, a lot of things happening in the middle, and in the end, uh, it seems that uh, they want them uh, off the field, but they're still hanging around. They still have four balls to play and they are in with a chance they need only 12 runs to win now what's going on here let's just concentrate on the game I know maybe I'm, you can get a little bit emotional but you got to stand your ground and uh, act sensibly yeah, I agree I, I couldn't have agreed more with you these are two friendly nations and after all these are game of cricket only yes you can be emotionally charged but you should not let the situation get the better of you and let's also not forget that these are celebrities the world's watching so he's not happy he's not happy well the big concern here is that the two bounces back to back the first one i thought was a legal ball the second one i want to see another replay and make sure that it's gone over the head height and the issue that they've got is they're saying that there's two balls that have been too high, so there should have been a no ball. And absolutely, that's what I think the Bangladesh camp feels that they've not been a, awarded a no ball. It's just not the no ball. What it does, it's also a free hit, and uh, Mahmoudullah is on strike. Let's see what happens. There, he's not happy at all. Well, let's take a look at the two deliveries. This is the first one. Now that was that was. That was fine, I think. That was not over the head. Now this is the, this is the second one. Yeah. I think that's where the problem is. That's where the problem is. That's the number one. And they're quite similar, don't you think? So that's a bit of a surprise that Bangladesh is really protesting. I think that's a legal delivery. Look, at times you feel that uh, that decision should have gone in your favor. Once you see those two balls, short pitch deliveries, you will wonder whether it was just above the head high or above the shoulder. It was above the shoulder. So leave it to the umpires. Let's not just get excited because there is a chance for both the teams to play the final. For 12 rounds of four balls after all that 
has happened and you can cut the tension. So here we go. Abdullah on strike, 12 of 4. He goes wide, down to extra cover, and he'll get a boundary. That could have been a wide, but what a shot that is uh, from Mahmoudullah. Eight of three now. That is a super shot under the circumstances, under pressure. There was a bit of a break. Look how wide that is. He's reached for it. It's one-handed. Gets his right hand off. Terrific shot. Gee, that's a good shot. That would have been a one in test cricket. And he's walked across the stumps and he's played an unbelievable stroke. Eight runs required from just three balls. The tension, the energy, the atmosphere. Can he do it for Bangladesh? Mamadullah Riyadh on 35, eight from three. Running the first run hard. And they won the second. Could be trouble, could be trouble. Oh, he yes. missed it. He missed it. Now, how short was Mamadullah? Doesn't really matter. He's in. He's missed the stumps. Six from two. Well, you just feel if it would have been a good throw, it was a great gather and release, but just the accuracy there. See the way he picks up a strong arm. Got in a nice position, but just wide. A little bit too wide, and he would have made a home anyway, but if it would have been over the bales, he would have been run out for sure. Yeah, even if he had hit the stumps, he would have been in, I thought, because the dive was very important, very crucial at the very end. That is brilliant. That is good, aggressive running. They're not happy. But the Bangladesh fans are pleased to see that Mahmoudullah is still there. There is still an opportunity for Bangladesh to score those six runs, and they have two balls in their hands. Well, it's Rodana. He's got the ball, of possibly the most important delivery he's bowled in his life. Well, he needs a dot because he is one ball away here from either winning or losing the game. If he bowls a good couple of dots here, then they're going to need six off one. Or it could be all over one ball. Yeah, I think it's important for Mahmoudou to realize that he needs to face uh, these two deliveries. Utmost importance. He's got to be on strike. If he picks up a boundary, he will be on strike. But I don't think so the single is going to help Bangladesh cause. So very crucial, this delivery. What's it going to be? Put your seatbelts on, boys. Here we go. Let's see, let's see. He's finished it off in grand style. What a magnificent, what a magnificent shot. And imagine it was just a few deliveries that Shaki Balhassan was trying to call the team off. Shot of the tournament. What a shot this is from Mahmoudala. Absolutely brilliant. Onto the pads and hit that mind into the stands. The winning moment for Bangladesh. They're in the final and they will love it. Let's do the Cobra. Oh, yes. Well, an absolutely magnificent shot indeed, no doubt, on the pads. And Mahmoudullah has played a brilliant shot. And that shows the experience, that shows the quality of the man. And Bangladesh have stunned this crowd with that outstanding win and six of the penultimate ball. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm dumbfounded up here. And that's an incredible shot to win the game. Some of those shots we saw around the crowd there they just cannot believe it look at him it's been ripped out of their hands and bangladesh are going to face india in the final sunday evening what a game this has been and this is the first time that sri lanka has lost three matches in a row in the same series in sri lanka and thankfully thankfully that the game went on and um, it, it certainly could have been pretty pretty Unfair now, just don't understand what's happening here. Oh, they're all pumped up, they're all pumped up. But I can tell you that Bangladesh have won a famous victory. They've got one ball left. And let's hope, let's hope everything's well. Well, I'm sure that Arab, you know, it's, it was a little bit hot out there, no doubt. Let's just hope common sense prevails. It is important. What's going on here? Bangladesh have sealed a victory, a massive, very good victory. Looked like it could have gone on either way. Mahmoudullah also having a word with Nurul Hassan. But uh, hats off to the interim head coach.
Courtney Walls, especially Mahmudullah, who hit that uh, beautiful six off his leg. What a shot, what a moment for Bangladesh. And finds themselves uh, in the final. And they will uh, look forward uh, to put up a very good performance against India in the final. But what a match. What a match this has been. It went uh, towards Bangladesh initially when they were bold. We picked up five wickets very early. The big partnership between the Perera and uh, uh, Vishal Perera and uh, Tisara. And then big partnership allowing them to score 159. There was also good partnership between uh, Mushfiqur Rahim and Tamim Iqbal. They lost three quick wickets. But the man in the middle who kept calm and carried on is the man on screen. Mama